हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ मॉडिफाइड मंडेलियन इनहेरिटेंस इन द लास्ट पार्ट दैट इज इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हेड सीन डिफरेंट मॉडिफाइड मंडेलियन इनहेरिटेंस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इनकम्प्लीट डोमिनेंस को डोमिनेंस और ओवर डोमिनेंस हियर इन दिस लेक्चर i will be discussing about the lethal gene inheritance and how this lethal gene inheritance is creating the modification in mendelian inheritance so let us start with lethal gene inheritance so if you see here lethal gene inheritance actually it was discovered by lucian cuniat lucian cuniat in the year 1905 in the year 1905 where he observed that when two yellow mice when two yellow mice were crossed together he got the offspring in the ratio of 2 is to 1 that is two yellow and one gray but he was expecting that if it is f f1 cross f1 he he was expecting that it should have 3 is to 1 ratio so as we know when we are intersemating f1 cross f1 then the ratio will phenotypic ratio will be 3 is to 1 suppose we are crossing yellow mice with yellow mice and if these two yellow mice are heterozygote then the ratio will be 3 is to 1 but the outcome of result although he could not understand why this ratio is coming 2 is to 1 phenotypic ratio is coming 2 is to 1 but he come to know or he guessed or and rightly guessed that here in the coat color inheritance of mice he found that yellow color is dominant that is yellow color is dominant but since he could not observe the ratio as 3 is to 1 and instead of that he got 2 is to 1 so what he did he test cross the yellow mice thinking that okay that yellow mice may be heterozygote so he wanted to confirm whether it is heterozygote or homozygote so for that confirmation we have already seen in the last uh, last lectures about the test cross so he crossed that uh, yellow mice with gray mice in the form of test cross and he got the ratio of 1 is to 1 that is pro in the progeny generation he got uh, uh, yellow mice and gray mice in the ratio of 1 is to 1 and based on that he found that okay the yellow mice is a heterozygote condition but he was surprised to know or he was surprised that where that homozygous yellow mice went so what happened to that homozygous yellow mice and but he could not found the answer cuniat actually he never produced a single homozygous yellow mouse but further in the year 1910 the kassel and little kassel and little in 1910 found that 1/4 of the offspring dies in this cross the cross that is per, that was performed by cuinat kassel and little found that in that cross 1/4 of the offspring die and from there it now it can be understood that okay when homozygous yellow mice are produced they they are getting they are getting dies so that from there the concept of lethal gene come out so now under this backdrop we'll see what is lethal gene so genes which result in premature death of the organism are called lethal gene so what is lethal gene the gene that will cause premature death of the organism and the inheritance pattern of this type of genes are called as lethal gene inheritance and that phenomena is called as lethality so this lethal gene again can be of different type the first one is semi dominant or intermediate type 
then recessive type and dominant type so these are the three types of lethal genes that uh, that are semi dominant or intermediate recessive and dominant now here what cuneate has done what we had seen in the first uh, slide here you can see in the form of punnett square so what at start uh, he intersemated yellow mice with yellow mice so suppose the yellow mice were heterozygote capital a small a then capital a small a and if we wanted to present the progeny in the form of punnett square here you can see capital a capital a that is homozygous dominant the uh, progeny dies in the embryonic stage and these two yellow mice they are heterozygous and the one was homozygous recessive that is gray mice so here in this case the phenotypic ratio will be one uh, two is to one instead of three is to one it will be two is to one because the homozygous dominant organism or animal will be, will be tight so one thing i missed in the last class when i was telling you about the modified mendelian ratio in the form of uh, uh, incomplete dominance co dominance or over dominance so here uh, that point what i missed in the uh, last lecture i wanted to tell that in in case of incomplete dominant or co dominant the mendelian ratio will be changed to 1 is to 2 is to 1 both in the case of phenotypic ratio or in the genotypic ratio that means for co dominance or incomplete dominance the ratio will be phenotypic and genotypic ratio will be same that is 1 is to 2 is to 1 okay so that was about the last lecture now here in case of lethal gene you will see that it is the ratio phenotypic ratio is 2 is to 1 that is 2 yellow and 1 non yellow or you can say it as uh, gray mice okay then the similar example you can see in the poultry so poultry one condition is creeper condition of poultry where the size of leg or the leg will be deformed so how this the what is the inheritance pattern of that creeper condition so it was of that when creeper poultry was crossed with creeper poultry then the progeny produced was in the ratio of 2 is to 1 that is two creeper and one normal two creeper and one normal so here you can see the homozygous dominant when the creeper and creeper were crossed the homozygous dominant animal did not survive and the heterozygous in individual become creeper and the homozygous recessive they become the normal similar in the case of mice so creeper condition in poultry is also a, same as that of the Uh, coat coloring mice that is lethal gene inheritance at that inheritance is intermediate type of inheritance or semi dominant inheritance it is not dominant inheritance what is dominant lethal inheritance or recessive lethal inheritance that is that we will see in the next slides now another similar condition another similar condition is the bulldog calf syndrome in cattle bulldog calf syndrome in the cattle so here in cattle particularly the hf cattle there is one condition which is known as dexter so what dexter animal the peculiarity of dexter animal is that these animals are having short legs and due to short leg the animal body uh, will bear more muscles or most more body mass that will be helpful in producing more beef so the uh, here you can see when dexter was crossed with dexter this is also similar as that of the creeper condition poultry or the coat coloring mice so when dexter was crossed with dexter the progeny produced was again in the ratio of 2 is to 1 that is 2 dexter that is short legs and one long leg long leg or you can say it is a normal cow but the dominant this uh, two dexter they were heterozygous then normal cattle they were homozygous recessive but the homozygous dominant animal they did not survive and these animal they were be uh, prenatal lethal 
chondroplasia there will be prenatal lethal chondroplasia that means the animal will die in the latter part of pregnancy and the there will be production of bulldog calf the animal will be looking like bulldog and that animal will be uh, the the, the, the animal birth the, uh, there will be dead animal at birth so that is called as bulldog calf syndrome so you may be asked in examination to write a brief in brief about bulldog calf syndrome so you have to write that it is a uh, part of uh, means a, a, an example of lethal gene inheritance and which lethal gene in inheritance it is semi dominant semi dominant or intermediate lethal inheritance okay the, uh, then so this was about the semi dominant or intermediate lethal inheritance then the next one is the next one is the dominant lethal so what will happen in dominant lethal here in the case of semi dominant or intermediate lethal we have seen that when the dominant uh, alleles are coming in the homozygous condition then only there was death of the animal but in case of dominant lethal even a single copy of allele or dominant allele will cause death of animal so allele that need only be present in one copy in an organism to be fatal are referred as dominant lethal allele so dominant lethal genes are expressed in both homozygote and heterozygotes so there is no need of two copy of this allele so even a single copy will cause death so exam uh, this dominant lethal genes are rarely detected due to their rapid elimination from the population so we know that uh, means what it is telling that even a single copy of that particular allele will cause death of an animal so that is why when whenever that gene or allele will come into the uh, individual that individual will die so that is why it is very rare so how to detect that it is very difficult to detect in animals i could not find example of uh, uh, dominant lethal in animals there may be but i i could not get it but in a human there is condition is hutchinson disease hutchinson di huntington disease huntington disease is that why it can be detected in human because the onset of huntington disease is slow in case of human so that means animal is not, uh, means uh, human they are not dying at early embryonic stage but at the later part of life that is why the individual carrying the allele can pass it to the offspring so here you can see this is the affected father this is unaffected mother that means blue gene is uh, here the allele shown in blue is causing the uh, affection so uh, after mating the uh, uh, how means what kind of uh, progenies are produced the affected male unaffected female unaffected male and affected uh, female so here you can see this is not a sex link inheritance but because this dominant uh, means uh, whenever this gene will come this allele will come dominant allele will come they will cause the death of the bearer so that is the dominant lethal there are few examples in the animals also but since huntington's disease they are slow in progression that is why we can study the uh, this uh, disease for dominant example of dominant lethal then recessive lethal gene so the name itself states that when res recessive means when the two copy of allele this allele recessive allele will come together then only there will be the death of organism then only it will cause lethality otherwise it will be masked under the effect influence of dominant allele so a pair of identical allele that are both present in an organism that ultimately result in death of that organism are referred as recessive lethal allele so again example in the manx cats so what uh, uh, what is the condition in the manx cats possess a heterozygous mutation resulting in shortened or missing tail so either the tail will be shortened or they will be missing this is the manx cattle uh, manx cat when these two heterozygous manx cats will be crossed it will result in two third of the surviving offspring that will display shortened tail phenotype and one third of offspring that will have normal tail length 
that is it is homozygous dominant so it tells that this condition is recessive lethal gene homozygous offspring of the mutant allele cannot survive birth and are therefore not seen in the crosses so this homozygous recessive they will not be survive and they will not be observed in the population so this is about the recessive lethal gene so we studied three type of recessive lethal allele, genes or alleles the one was the intermediate lethal genes or alleles then dominant lethal genes or alleles and recessive lethal genes or alleles so we studied th uh, these three inheritance pattern and we understood wh what will be the consequences what will be the how the ratio will be changed now the thing is that whenever you encounter the lethal gene since they are causing death of animal or individual or the bearer so our ultimate aim should be that if it is encrypted a or it if it has come to our farm the farm where we are posted then our ultimate aim is to eliminate try to eliminate these genes from the population from the breeding population so that the lethal gene will not cause the damage in the coming generation so how to detect for that you have to detect the lethal gene and then you have to eliminate from the population so how we can do that that is management of lethal gene how you will manage the lethal gene so first one is intermediate lethal gene so what we can do in the intermediate lethal gene so in intermediate lethal gene the heterozygote population they were the carrier homozygous dominant they were dying that means they will be automatically eliminated from the population homozygous recessive they were normal but heterozygous animal actually they were the carrier so they they are very easy to detect because they are having different um, phenotype phenotypically the heterozygote are different from the homozygote so directly we can identify those animal and we can eliminate from the population because the genes will be expressed now in case of dominant lethal dominant lethal we have already seen in the example of uh, huntington's disease so that this dominant lethal even they are present in one copy they will kill the organism and after killing that animal will be re uh, eliminated from the population that means they will not be contributed to the next generation that means uh, that is the allele will not get replicated in the progeny generation so there is no issue with the dominant lethal so intermediate lethal they will be identified with the phenotype because they are having different phenotype dominant lethal the dominant allele will be killed or died so they will not be contributing to the next generation the problem is with the recessive lethal why the, there is problem because in the recessive lethal it will kill only when they are in homozygous stage they will be they will be acting as a carrier in heterozygous stage but in only in homozygous stage they will be uh, dying or they will be eliminated so they are very difficult to eliminate from the population because they they are having uh, the phenotype also they are uh, they would not have different phenotype so heterozygous carrier parents that produce lethal effect could be used to used as tester to identify others in the population so those heterozygous animal the we can test cross and we can establish that okay they are heterozygous and we will produce the recessive homozygous and by that way they will be eliminated from the population so we will by any method we will produce those uh, recessive homozygous so that they will be eliminating from the eliminated from the population otherwise if those carrier animals will be there in every generation if they will be intersemated there will be 25% of the individual or uh, 25% of the individual they will be recessive homozygous and that will cause the death of those animals who are recessive homozygous so here in recessive lethal our aim will be to identify the carrier animal and 
एलिमिनेट दो कैरियर एनिमल फ्रॉम द पॉपुलेशन और फ्रॉम द ब्रीडिंग पॉपुलेशन सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन मैनेज द लीथल जीन इन लीथल जीन फ्रॉम द पॉपुलेशन सो विथ दिस आई थिंक आई हैव कवर्ड इन ब्रीफ अबाउट द डिफरेंट लीथल जीन सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फर्दर स्टडी अबाउट द लीथल जीन्स यू कैन गो टू दिस साइट एंड यू कैन फाइंड अ वेरी गुड पेपर अबाउट द लीथल जीन सो टिल इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द मॉडिफाइड मेंडेलियन रेशियो एंड दैट इज द नॉन एनलिक इंट्रैक्शन वी कैन ऑल्सो कॉल इट एज एपीस्टसिस सो वील मीटिंग द नेक्स्ट क्लास टिल दैन बाय बाय ओके